What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to tutorial 7 and today's topic will be how to edit an existing issue comments from uh, REST API using Python. For example, we have already added a comment to one of your issues or um, or probably you just uh, uh, by mistake uh, you have added one comment which is not appropriate or not proper or maybe you want to change something in the comment. So how to do that from the REST API using Python that we will see in this tutorial. So without wasting much time let me just go ahead with the slide so as i told you like everything is available inside the uh, api documentation or the developer guide so this is the link direct link if you just open this link you will get everything but uh, i'll just open the same url and we'll show you okay so there is not much to discuss so if you go to this link uh, here you will get something called update comment let me just make it a bigger uh, and you see here so this is the curl so i'll be going to use the same thing so without wasting much time so let me just open this thing and probably this is my issue and inside the issue let's say uh, i have added this comment uh, last time when i did the tutorial number six so i would like to change this thing so if you want to change this thing for the first thing what you need to do uh, you need to get the id of this thing okay so for this thing what do you have to do uh, let me just uh, i don't know let me just open so if you see the comment id is this one so i i actually need this thing okay so just hold on uh, if you open this thing so you will get this comment actually all the comments one by one okay so just hold on so I want to change this one so we'll need this actually so let's create one file so it should be tutorial 7 tuto tutorial 7 dot py right and I will copy the whole code actually from tutorial 6 here so here it is comment and after that I have to put the comment ID why comment ID I need to put if you see the documentation issue issue ID comment comment ID so in our case the comment ID will be let me just copy this thing and here the comment ID would be 10013 okay so let me just put 10013 so comment ID is added everything is added so comment uh, comment updated updated by python so that's it nothing else everything will be same i don't need to change i don't want to change actually anything okay so this is very simple and and and, and if you see the call for updating or adding comment is same so if you click here you will get the same thing only the url is changed and update is also same uh, I mean the curl is actually same only minor difference in the URL okay so if I uh, execute this thing it will be changed and it will become updated by Python something like that let me just see uh, yes it will be like comment updated by Python so let me execute this thing Python 3.7 and after that tutorial 7.py yeah it's done actually uh, tutorial 7 let me just check I don't know whether it is updated or not let's click here uh, no it didn't change actually I don't know what is what happened actually here just wait tutorial 7 I don't know print response to take at least this should run but I don't know why this is not coming so let me run it python 3 dot 7 okay let me run 
uh, not sure why this is why this is not printing anything that it that is also strange here uh, data is here okay that's fine total technology rest api issue tts comment 10013 just hold on maybe i am just doing something wrong maybe i'm not sure maybe just check what is the yeah it is 10013 but still this is not getting updated so that is the strange thing here uh, I'm not sure uh, this is the issue this is the command this is the command ID let me do something comment okay everything is seems fine okay this is not post it should be put actually yeah this is my mistake actually so I always uh, like do this thing so if you check here it is put actually post mate it is creating something new okay, just remember this thing post means something new in api call most of the time so it should be put actually this is my mistake sorry guys but this is normal see this is done i got the response now so just refresh this thing so this is normal uh like doing mistake is normal thing comment updated by this thing so now again i will change this thing and i will make it uh, comment one something like that let's do so this is updated everything is here now just close this thing and refresh see fine so that's it guys sorry for the confusion that uh, i forgot to use put here i just copy paste everything so it was not able to update anything that is why i took maybe two minutes extra but this is normal like mistakes can happen but that is why i always recommend you guys to not to do any copy pasting right okay then this is the end of this tutorial and hopefully we'll try to upload more tutorials on uh, like comment updates in the next video and in that video probably uh, i would like to uh, create some complex or advanced use cases like uh, how to first how to add uh, multiple comments for multiple issues and after that how to update uh, multiple comments from multiple issues and every time i'll be going to use one csv file so that user will read the csv file and after that it will upload or uh, sorry update the or uh, add the comments based on the csv file so csv file uh, should contain two uh, like columns one is the issue id and one is the corresponding uh, comment like for example i'll be having uh, 10 issues so for 10 issues i would i want to put uh, 10 different comments okay and everything will be coming from the csv file and in the next tutorial or maybe in the next part on the same tutorial i'll try to uh, update those comments uh, again by reading from a csv file so that will be very interesting challenging and also will give you guys some sort of idea how to uh, do this thing or how to pass multiple payloads uh, uh, to your json request uh, sorry in the api request uh, using for loop so what we'll do we'll read the csp file and that time we'll doing some sort of looping and every time the loops iterate it will uh, read the once it read the single line and update something in the jira by calling jira api okay so that is the job so hope you guys understand that we are going slightly towards the difficult topic so it is high time that you guys should uh, start doing the coding start uh, practicing something or else there is no point right and if someone is uh, watching this video for the first time maybe he searched a specific topic but having some sort of interest to interested to learn develop or master this sort of automation technology then i'll highly recommend you guys to watch the series from the tutorial number one this is definitely help you okay so that's it guys uh just one more request i need some sort of feedback good or bad doesn't matter but please provide so that i can uh create the contents more specific towards your like uh requirement right okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day